What's up folks, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be building a very simple app and the goal behind this app is for us to kind of use one of the React hooks called Use Reducer. Okay, this is what we're gonna be shooting for. Now, if you haven't used it before, that is completely fine. If you had used it before, it's definitely gonna really kind of help you in order for us to kind of get practice building an app like this. Now, let me give you a demo on how this works, okay? So, what you can do in this app is you can click deposit and that will deposit a random number for you. In this case, we deposit $20 on this account and then your balance, it also remember what your balance was, okay? Your balance was a hundred dollars and it tells you what your coin balance is which is a hundred twenty dollars which makes sense a hundred dollars it was we added twenty dollars so we kind of have a hundred twenty dollars if I click it again I deposit eight dollars uh, my balance was a hundred twenty dollars like it was and now a final balance is a hundred twenty eight dollars this is for the deposit section okay the withdraw section, of course, it's pretty self-explanatory. If I click withdraw, I literally just withdraw twenty dollars. We might adjust it to kind of add like a minus little e here to add let the user know that they they withdrawn some money. And the bal uh, my balance was one hundred twenty eight. I withdraw twenty dollars, and I have one hundred eight dollars with it. I can withdraw again. It kind of give us the random number, and now my balance was one hundred eight, and now my balance is currently one hundred one. So this is the app application we're going to be using again we're going to extremely use use with user to kind of give you guys a really good understanding of how to use it and how you can kind of build an entire basic application with it uh, and just to kind of get that practice and the cool thing is this app you can kind of feel free to kind of add it to your portfolio whatever you guys want to do with this app to kind of get the practice of using uh, react hooks okay what you need in order to build this first thing first you need node.js if you haven't if you don't have Node.js installed, make sure you do to check that out. You can open your terminal wherever you have your terminal and just click type the word on uh, node uh, dash V. And if you do have a version, it might not be the same version as mine. That means that you do have Node.js installed. Uh, second, of course, you do need to have a basic understanding of React hooks on how it works. So we're going to do everything within this tutorial to kind of give you guys a demo on how React hooks work. But if you have worked with it before, it will definitely make the the process is it for you again make sure you do have quick react app installed if you haven't had to have that don't worry we're gonna use it for this entire tutorial and last but not least we're gonna be leveraging react bootstrap in this video just to kind of make uh, 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 to kind of use some CSS and make sure that the button looks right everything centered with us would not even have to do much CSS we not even write any CSS at all except we're gonna leverage bootstrap to kind of have something like this and if you're new here if this is your first time definitely check out my entire YouTube channel I do have a lot of content about how to do a lot of things with uh, with, with coding so without any further ado let's get our hands dirty first thing first the first thing I need is head over create react app just tap on Google create react app and you will land on this website I'll leave a link for this website in the description below once I am on this website we're gonna go here and just literally copy this command I'm gonna right click and copy that I'm gonna go inside my terminal and navigate to where you need this folder in this case I navigate inside desktop and then I'm, I'm in the folder called learning and I and within that folder I'm just gonna paste uh, mpx create react app and I'm gonna give my application a name. So I'm gonna call it my BO, which is my Bank of America, whatever app this is, and click enter. This is gonna go ahead and kind of build an entire React application for you uh, with the Create React app. It will have a lot of things already configured for you, Webpack, whatever it is, or whichever computer that you have. Uh, it might take a little bit longer. Just leave it there for a couple minutes until you kind of get that out of the way. All right, once this is finished, again, if your computer is a little bit slow, it might take a little bit longer. Uh, for my case, uh, there is instruction here that you can follow. I'm going to do CD my BOA and I'm going to do uh, yarn start. If you do not have yarn, we can definitely use npm, don't worry. So I'm going to go here and kind of do uh, CD my and click enter and then I'm going to do npm start. Before I do this, I'm going to open that inside VS Code. If you do not have VS Code, open it into whatever text editor or IDE that you have available for you. Okay, so that's what I do. I just open that within VS Code 
Now, if you've worked with a typical React application before, this is exactly what you have going on here. What we're going to be focusing is the, the app.js folder. This is where we're going to be build, building the entire app to kind of get something up and running. So what I'm going to do in this case here, I'm going to delete everything and just start from scratch. I'm going to bring React here and use importing from React. I'm going to define my very basic application here. And once I have that, I'm going to make sure that I export that application as default here. Okay. So what I do is I define a very simple component and then I define and then and then I export this component right there. In this case, I'm going to have JSX and we turn a very basic uh, div element that's going to contain everything. And in here, I'm just going to say hello world for me to see what I'm working on right there. So basically, we have a very simple component. Again, this is a very simple component and I'm just going to run that and see what we have in, in the page. So I'm going to open my terminal and then run npm start. So I just go ahead and kind of run npm start and then that's going to run and start my uh, uh, development server for me, uh, just for me to kind of have an idea what this look like before we proceed further. All right, seems like everything is up and running. Now, if I go to port 3000, which we should already open one for you, and there we go, we have our Hello World ready to go. But is that really what we're building? No, we're definitely building something that at least look like this, okay? So in the next video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna start getting Bootstrap and any grid Bootstrap in to at least kind of get the button laid out, the Bank of America laid out, at least a, a simple little message here that we can also see as well. So see you in the next video.